what can you tell us about this pie challenge then? I hear you. I'm on schedule. I'm on schedule. I'm on schedule. Yeah, I'm 11 now. You sir, pay a lot as well as I hear you've joined the team. We got them delivered. You got sponsors. We got delivered. We got pies delivered to the start line today. Is Dan joining you on this challenge? No, he's just helping me along every yeah. now and then. You're not his trainer. Himself, but he's left his run a bit late, so we're cranking it up. Yeah, we had to go to three pies a day to get the record. Play, play, playing catch up. Yeah, we are. We got in a little bit late this year to two and under, but uh, look, we can see the uh, light at the end of the tunnel, and we're in the. And we're not far off getting a box of quickies. Quick, quick. <laughs> now, question is. Can you do us um, a, a tour de pie, where the quality pies are coming from? Well, every town that we've been to has a great bakery. And uh, it's an Australian thing that you know, it's easy to get a great quality pie wherever you go. Do you have, that, ru- do you have rules though? Like, do you steer clear from certain pies, like the curry pie? Yeah, it's generally, yeah. The curry ones are not the good. The fish pie? The fish pie. The fish pie I stay away from. Yeah. And uh, the last 24 hours I've had to have a little bit of humble pie, Dan. Yeah. Now, pie. UK, we've got, we got bean and sausage. We just steer clear of that one. Yeah, I had a, I had a good breakfast pie the other day with uh, baked beans in it, actually. It's four hours in the car and he's going to But yeah, four hours in the car with guests is not so good. You can't really do this in <laughs> Europe, though, can you? It'd be all no, croissants. No. That's why it's, uh, we're, going, we're going back to Europe next week, so uh, go out with a bang. Yeah, get, get all crammed in, try you.